Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, give me a call. Hello, Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai. That's all praises to the Most High. The name is only God's Son. The world is going call Jesus Christ. For the Israelites coming out of San Francisco this week. Preach His Word. Show sincerity. Prophesy the downfall of the Kingdom of America. And we're going to start with the doctor's name in the hospital and whatnot. Then they're going to log on to their fucking prescription control reporting. There's a lot of wickedness uh, going on in this world right now. And see People are just not privy to it. I just got you know, if they are privy to it, they don't know it's a spiritual uh, aspect. Uh, it's uh, it's Jeremiah, 21 and 8. 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries. Yep, many countries. And the main country right now is America we're prophesying against. And against great kingdoms. Great kingdoms. Of war and of evil and of pestilence. War, evil, and pestilence. What's going on in, in the rumblings of, of you know, CNN and all that type of stuff? Russia, China, they're dropping the dollar making nuclear warheads and they practice testing on America. All their uh, practices show America getting bombed from Atlanta all the way to California. I'm gonna say I don't have primary. And this is the reason why. We're in San Francisco, the prime location, the chief place of homosexuality, which is an abomination to the Lord. So we're gonna see how the Lord feels about this and why America needs to be destroyed. Go ahead. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. What's that? Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous decrees. What did they decree? They decreed homosexuality. Now it's a preference. In 1974, in the DSM manual, written by Dr. Martin Johnson, they deemed homosexuality as a mental illness. 30 years later, 40 years later, now it's a preference. And what's coming down the pike? What's, what, the, what are the letters that are LGBT? There's a Q added on, there's a P added on. And right previous woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees uh -huh. and that right grievous grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, they prescribe grievousness. Because homosexuality breeds death. You, know, you can't you can't bring life to the earth when you're homosexual. You know what I mean? That's on it. Bums lined up and down the street. You go, you go that way a little bit, everybody's just on the street. It's a prime location, and, and the soldier, Hazza, soldier Hazza right here, he's from San Francisco, told me this is a gentrification period going on. So we're out here looking for the, the, the elect. You know, Laurel and somebody gets edified today, but if not, we're just gonna preach to the wind like John did. But uh, like I said, this So basically, San Francisco is being gentrified. gentrified. This this prime street, like, there's a lot of activity. There's stores, you know, uh, places being built up, construction. They're trying to turn this into a white area. But you know, before they do that, you know, people gotta get this word and you know, wake up to the truth. Jeremiah five, the top. Run ye to and fro though through the streets of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Seek now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. If you can't if you can't find a man, if there be any that executes the judgment. Yeah. So we're going through the streets of Jerusalem in all, every city across the nation, all throughout Africa, some spots in Europe, Israelites are waking up to the truth, going back home to the nationality, trying to keep the laws to the rest of their ability. And that's what we're doing in San Francisco. We're trying to find people from Jerusalem, which are the Israelites, to wake up to the truth before this place gets destroyed by thermal nuclear fire. Go ahead. That seeketh the truth, and I will pardon you. And though they say, hey, the most high living, surely they swear most. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou, thou hast stricken them. Thou eyes upon what? Are not thine eyes upon the truth? The eyes are upon the truth. The Lord likes truth. What's the truth? The law, statutes, and commandments, which we 
fell away from it. This is why we're in captivity, why San Francisco, this street that we're on is getting gentrified. And on the same street, there's bums living off it. Like, it doesn't make sense. First thing I do, come out, step outside the car, I smell weed smoke. And he said, there's a dispensary right, right where we're living. Like, hand down a little bit, there's a dispensary right there. Pure wickedness. You shouldn't be smoking weed to feel high or having some type of mental comfort. It's used for, for the medicinal reason, which is mainly CBD oil, things like that. Go ahead. Thou has consumed it. Oh, Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. Exactly. We've been consumed by this country in the form of the transatlantic slave trade, oppression, all the laws they pass against us, all the justice system that they think is justice is going against us as a nation, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans for the last 500 years. And that's because we fell away from the law as a people. They have made... They have made their faces harder than a rock. They right. have refused to return. Stop right there, stop right there. They've made their face harder than a rock. What's that mean? They buck up against the truth. They buck up against the word every time it comes out. Because they're, they're used to it. They've been brainwashed over the last four or five years. Generation after generation, they think nothing's going on. They, they think it's normal to live in the hood in poverty, sell drugs to each other, kill each other, you know, over some colors. That's ridiculous. Therefore, verse four, therefore I said, Surely these are poor. What yeah. is that? Surely these are poor. Surely these are poor. We're a poor people in this nation. And like I said, you can look at the camera. It's probably on the camera right now. People in wheelchairs sitting under the shade, not knowing what to do with their life, groping in the noonday. Probably on drugs, waiting for the next hit. It doesn't make sense. And that's because we fell away from the law. Go ahead. They are foolish. They are what? Foolish. Go ahead. For they know not the way of the Most High. They don't know the way of the Most High. We fell away from it years ago, but this is our job and duty throughout the four corners of the earth to wake up the elect and hopefully the hope of one third that they repent in time before this place gets destroyed. So that's our message, keep going. Nor the judgment of their God, their power. Nor the judgment of their power. What power? The power of the Yahweh, the Most High God. They don't know the judgments of the Yahweh. Yahweh. So they think people getting killed like both of them, uh, Jim John and Alice Texas, is just a normal thing. They, they, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's national coverage, but we pretty much know the outcome. They, they put uh, Amber Geiger in jail. I've seen the footage, but let's see how long she stays in jail. She's going to get the two-year minimum, the manslaughter charge they placed on it through the affidavit, or she's going to face you know multiple years in prison, like a life sentence because of the murder she committed. I will get me unto the great men, and I will speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Most High, uh -huh. and the judgment of their power. Exactly, the great men. Not saying I'm a great man, but I'm, I'm working towards that at this point by following the laws, by coming out preaching on the street corners, week in and week out, wherever, what city we're in. We try to wake up our people, and like I said, tell them to repent before the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Just like Christ did, just like John did, all the 12 apostles, they did that all throughout their time of living because they knew what, they, they didn't know what time it was then, as far as the salvation period, but as far as what was at stake and what their soul, what their life's purpose was. But these have altogether broken the yoke uh -huh. and burst the bonds. Right. Wherefore, lion out of the forest shall slay them. Exactly. Yeah. Right lion out of the forest shall slay them. What does that I'm mean? Gonna stay over here. Right. That just I'm means we're being there. devoured as a people. Yeah. Who is that? Not Who's that right there? That's sick as fuck. Do you know what that is? What do you mean? Who is that? That's an actual person right there. Who opposed to Jesus Christ? Jesus is a Negro, not a white man. Yeah, who, who is that on the paper? Who, who is this right here? Columbus? I mean, of course not Columbus, but he, he, was, he was alive during that time. Jesus was black. We gotta go into the scripture and see what Jesus was black. 
But it's 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 they proved that. What's your nationality? Uh, I'm actually from Black Hood Indian. I'm, uh, my father is uh, Irish and Dutch. My mother is uh, technically Cajun, but there's all kinds of it. Irish and Dutch? Uh, yeah, but my my mother's from Black Hood, Louisiana. Black Hood Indians are going to be some black, there's some Spanish, there's all kinds of all these. Black Hood Indians, he's definitely a yeah. native to this Yeah, place. yeah. So, so as far as your mother's concerned, would you say her people got done wrong by being conquered by the oh yeah by the English yeah. and all that? You know whose people did that? Uh, like what what nation did that? What do you mean? What nation conquered your mother's people? Uh, it took their land from them. Well, fucking a bunch of white people did. But you your father's white. Then. Yeah. So how how would that be deemed a positive thing that your mother you know? Well, we're American. I mean, in America, America, everybody mixes up. That's, just, but, that's, but, just, that's but just where we live. That's the issue I'm trying to get at. Because America was initially the Native Indians' oh, yeah. land, oh, yeah. South and Central yeah. America. Yeah. But then white people came over and took it over. Well, Vikings came before they did. They think they, 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 they mixed with them. What well, Vikings? Like, uh, like 5,000 years ago, you ever heard of that stuff down in a. Where's that place in New Mexico we have? The picture of the guy with green eyes and red hair. Green, green eyes and red hair. Yeah. No, not, no, I'm talking about actual pictures. And, What's and the they, they think, they think, no, a bunch of different people, they think, they think that the Vikings might have came, some people came here and mixed with the, the natives. And they didn't talk to them. Because it was before the Spaniards and shit, you know, they didn't have that. They were had that. So this happened yeah. strictly in Mexico? Uh, it was like, like New, that history it was I'm like not New familiar with. It was like New Mexico. We're, 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 we're actually talking about the English, Spanish, you know, the Portuguese yeah. and all that, yeah, coming over to the Americas. Slaughtering the natives here. That's the problem, don't you think? Who was doing that? Yeah. The Portuguese. Yeah, but everybody did to everybody. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But they're not doing it right now. Oh, yeah, but. So for the last five, six hundred years, they've been doing it. They're not doing it right now. Oh, yeah, but. So for the last five, six hundred years, the Irish, who are the police officers. Uh, but the Irish, the Irish. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So the police officers, the firemen, they have all the great jobs at this point. But as far as. But they had the worst jobs when they first came here. They were slave catchers. But the Irish? The Irish. the Irish weren't even allowed into the red. But they eventually came to some slave here. The Irish were like, I mean, the Irish were like the worst of the worst. Like, they're still white. Yeah, but so they were. Fast they forward, were, like I said, fast forward now, white people run this country, they basically run the world. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. So, how do they, how do, they do that? It's all going to be crashing down within the next hundred years. Yeah. Uh, they, you're right. You're absolutely uh, right. It's gonna come crashing. Yeah, out. yeah. Give me uh, Revelation 13 and 10 before that. Yeah, I mean, it, do you it, believe in the Bible? Uh, I, I, do you believe in the Bible? I read the Bible. I, I read the New, the New uh, I believe in a higher power. That's great. That's great. I definitely have enough humility to believe in Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. Not this guy. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe there was a person like that. that yeah. A historical Jesus. Yeah, that was healing people at spiritual power. I believe there was a, a nomad who had, who could speak and That's had great. and had a and, and Let, definitely read the words of Jesus. Like right. What was the one that Jesus only, let, his, let, only let, his words? Wait a minute. John, let's read this first. It, Jesus said this in the New Testament in the last book of the Bible. Read that. And this this is what I was getting at as far as the rape, robbery, murder of the white men, the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And this is what Jesus said. That's what happened in the end time. So as far as he's saying, there's going to be destruction coming. That's, that's actually right. But there's going to be a recompense for those people that committed those crimes. Right. Read that. Okay. Read that. Revelation 13 read, read that. and 10. He that leadeth into captivity uh -huh. shall go into captivity. Whoever led them. People in the captivity go into captivity. So you as a white man, your ancestors led my people in captivity. These people in captivity. And your father's white, so you'd be in that group. So unfortunately, you would be going into captivity under Christ when he so uh -huh. whether you believe he's going to crack the sky tonight in a spiritual sense, he said that in the same way he said he believed it. Uh -huh. that. He that killeth by the sword with the sword uh -huh. must be killed with the sword. So 200, must be 200, killed 200 million people died just on the way over here the translated slave trade for my people. Yeah, so there's yeah. going to be a lot of white deaths when Christ cracked that sky. Keep going. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The saints are the Israelites, the people, 12 tribes of Israel. I'm pretty careful. The whole Bible. Oh, 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 oh. The again. saints are the twelve tribes of Israel, which is on this sign right here. So, if you don't find yourself on that sign, no, Puerto Rico, Cubans, Native Americans. Seven, why? Why seven? Isn't there a lost here? tribe though? The ten lost tribes are, are the Native Americans and Hispanics. I thought there was a lost tribe in Israel. There is. And 
the lost tribe of Israel in Africa. Africa. Uh, uh, there's actually a came from Africa. But yeah. there's a, isn't there a group of people Israel's in Africa? In Africa. <laughs> there, yeah, there's a, there's a group of people in In the scriptures, it talks about you are who your father is. So that's why Ashes, your father's Irish, and you say it's been split. Dutch. Irish and Dutch, those are European countries. Yeah. So as far as the Dutch had a small part in the slave trade, but not as much as the Portuguese, the Spanish, I heard the English, French. and the, uh, the French. Those are the four major countries that, that took slaves from Africa, yeah. took slaves from Puerto Rico, Central to Europe. That's how you get the Moors from. I'm pretty sure you know the Moors. Yeah. If you know a little bit of history, those are Negroes from the original uh, Native people. Numbers 1 and 18. He, right. he assembled the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. Yeah, pedigree, what's the pedigree? What do you mean? Like their uh, pedigree, their, their lineage. Exactly. Yeah. Pedigree after their family. By the house of their father, according to the number of their name, from 20 years old upward by their quote. So historically, no matter. Yeah. America says, oh, we're uh, the right. God we trust. But America is totally against the Bible. Yeah. They pass homosexuality uh, laws you know, all throughout this country, which is an abomination yeah. to God. Get, uh, the big 2013. But as far as, like I said, who your father is, you're Irish and Dutch, you'd be technically partaking in that, in that, that uh, recompense that God judged in, in the Revelation, yeah. going into captivity for a thousand years. Yeah. And if, you, if truly you aren't Dutch, you're you know, Irish, you might have a chance to live in after that period of time. Because when Christ returns, he's going to destroy all these wicked kingdoms. Place the Israelites at the top of the world pretty much to learn the laws of God. And whoever it's not, technically a white person, gets a chance at redemption to learn under Christ and the Israelites. So if you are white, unfortunately, like I said, you're going to be put to death and then you'll be reborn in the kingdom for that thousand years of slavery. And then you're going to be exterminated. So that's your duty. about the homosexuality. The San Francisco, go ahead. San Francisco is the, the number one homosexual place on the planet. Everybody knows that you agree. Do you agree with homosexuality? I don't have any problem with people doing whatever they want to do. It ain't my business. I mean, I, I, I can I can do the private kids at home. What they do the private kids at home. You, you believe in a higher power, which is the Bible is written by you know, prophets. I, yeah, I believe in a higher power of my understanding. That's an issue. Read, read this first, and then we're going to get the comment. It's not an issue with me. Man. What ideology do you have? The, 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 that's not the, my issue. That's, you? that's, that's not that's your issue, not mine. How, I'm 47. 47. I was born and raised on 24th New York. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm from Sacramento. I'm not too familiar yeah. with the streets. But I was born right I'm just the referring to, like I said, if you believe in a higher power, creator, created. Yeah. <laughs> and there's divine inspiration in this, in this Bible. Yeah, I know. I believe in a higher power of my own. You, you just don't believe in the Bible. Uh, because you said you believe I, in a I Christ believe, figure, but you don't believe... Well, I, don't, I didn't say I believe in a Christ figure. You did say that. I said I believe in a higher power of my understanding. But I said do you yeah. believe in Christ. You said you, would, you believe in something similar, like a nomad. Yeah, I believe there was a person who was a nomad who had great teaching skills and people yeah. followed. Who yeah. was it? Jesus Christ, supposedly. So you believe in Jesus Christ? Yeah, I believe there was a person. That's what you said. You said yeah. no at first. No, no, no. That's not. I, I said do you believe in Jesus Christ? You said no. And I said, you okay, know, you believe in I a said, nomadic figure. You said, yes. I don't, and I said, who I was that? You I said, said Jesus I don't Christ. work. I, don't, was, I believe there was a person named Jesus Christ, so I do believe in that, that there was that person. That's not my so, higher power. It's in the Bible. That's not my higher power. God is the higher power who created, who created, who created Christ. God in my understanding. I believe in a lot so, of So where, where did Christ come from? It's more complicated than that one. So, where did Christ come I believe, from? Though? I believe more. I believe we're all Christ. I believe everything. Is Christ. I believe. I believe a broken syringe on the ground. That's what I believe. Because you just said a person that did miracles. How can you be in a 
crack fight. That's, that's sick. That, that caused it, people to think you're too old. Some of the most beautiful, greatest people have come out of redemption of that stuff. I believe that, but that has nothing to do with the actual syringe that they're shooting with. That's, 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 a, that's, a, spirit, that's a spirit of God. That's like, that, that's like the hammer hit. that John had in his hand when he built when he built oh, it. That? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Leviticus 2013. Oh, yeah, God, God, yeah. If a man is a man mankind uh -huh. as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Abomination of filthy, wicked act of God. They shall, be, they, be, they shall surely be put to death. They shall surely be put to death. That's in God's book. We don't believe in the book, but God said it. These are the laws of God. So anybody's homosexual, like them, they go for it. Yeah. Put to death. So yeah, not as far as know. us coming physically yeah. killing somebody, yeah. but it's Romans 1. Romans 1 is uh, 20, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Okay. When people say they believe in Christ and God, in the New Testament, when you read the New Testament, how do you feel about homosexuality? Uh, I'm, I'm okay with it, but I, you know, I took a picture of a beauty bus because a uh, Last thing, since y'all not y'all on the fence about homosexuality, this was, I'm not on the fence about homosexuality. You I say, know where I stand with you. But, exactly, but I have people in my family that I love that are homosexual. I have no problem with it. I, I understand that. <laughs> but we're, 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 but we're I'm just telling you, we're gonna read the Bible and how yeah, bad it is. Let's, let's read this. Yeah, Go ahead. But I mean, Romans I, one. I just no, Romans yeah. one and twenty one. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as the Most High. Uh, you know God, but you don't glorify Him. You don't follow the Bible. Thing, but became vain in their imagination. Vain in your imagination. That means it, it's worthless. Basically, you say, "Oh, I, I have vain. vain." Vain is like you accept it, but you, you don't. You don't feel that it's wrong. Like, okay, you accept it, but it's wrong, but it's, it's nothing. That just makes sense. That's all it's about. It's in their foolish hearts. Right? We're, 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 we're thinking how God feels. Right? Professing themselves to be wise. Professing yourself to be wise. How you feel? Fools. What was that? What was he that? became fool. He became a fool. Oh, in your 46 fine. years of life, you became a fool thinking that. That's fine. That, that doesn't make any that's sense. Okay. That's okay. Like I said, if you believe in the Creator, this is Creator's book, whether you believe it or not. Right? And change the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man. Uh-huh. Into corruptible birds. Man. man is corruptible, not God. Into birds. Into birds. Into uh -huh. four-footed beasts and creeping things. Exactly. Right. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them unto uncleanness. What was that? The Most High gave them up to uncleanness. Uncleanness. What's uncleanness? As far as homosexuality is concerned, what's unclean about homo uh, homosexuality? Fucking okay. Jesus entering from the rear. I don't know. Exactly. Oh, ain't no sex. That's wicked as hell. That's and the only people. And as the far Spartans as two, were. As far were as, as, far as, two, as far as Romans two, were into that. Exactly. We don't get to that. As far as two men sticking a rod of each other's behinds, that's not natural. No. That's what I'm saying. Well, for the Most High gave them up to uncleanness. Uncleanness and what else? Through the lust of their own hearts. The lust of your own heart. You think it's good because you have people in your family that are homosexual. Say I think it's good. I don't have a problem. Business. I gotta that's go, it. bro. That's, that's not a problem. Go ahead. To dishonor their own bodies between they themselves. Just, they decided their own bodies. They, okay. Your family members are deciding their own yeah. bodies. And right on, you change the truth of the God into a lie. Hey, change the truth of God into a lie. Go ahead. It worshiped and served the creature more than the creator. He worshiped his family members more than the creator because he said he believed in a higher power, but he, he thinks it's okay hey, for his family members to be like that. Hey, bro, Who is blessed forever? The hey, You know what? Out of curiosity, you have to your family that's homosexual? No, my family's okay. not that big. My family's All not right. that big. Right on, you guys. Thank you. For this. For this cause, the Most High gave them up to vile affections. God gave your family members up to vile affections. Go ahead. For even their women did change the natural use into that which 
is against nature. Exactly. Lesbianism, homosexuality is against nature in the eyes of God. How do you feel about homosexuality? Devil, period. Bring that up. Bring that up. Bring that entregó a efectos vergonzosos, pues aún sus mujeres las maduran en la natural.
No queremos entender cómo está la situación. Esta es la misma. Can I see that shit? Can I, can I see that sign? How do you feel about the sign? How do you feel about the sign? Do you believe in the Bible? Some of his what? Some of his speech. Some of his What do you mean? What do you mean? So man got a lot of flaws. I think God is God. You know what I mean? A man, he just but don't have stuff for his own control so he can have power. Which, you know, he's trying to take God power. It's like he never, you know, he's talking about the devil. And, and you know, man, you know, the things that they have to do. Man, the white man is the devil. See, he's dead right. He's dead right. He, 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 as far as the history is concerned, he's gonna look at history. He done destroyed everybody on the face of the earth, forced their philosophy on them. And obviously, as far as you're neither, I'm sure, right? Exactly. So as far as us, our history, what's our history before slavery? We still do. That's why we, that's why we flood the churches. Then when they, then when we need to kick them out of the uh, jail, over out in the mountains and shit like that, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? They snuck up on us and got mad. Okay. Now they just snuck us on us. We, 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 didn't, we didn't keep up all the, the laws of God. That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had to keep the laws of God to remain, a, remain righteous. Exactly. I feel the same way, let me, uh, let me give you a fire. Uh, I feel the same way. I mean, I know, I know about them, but there's not really a foundation of history with that. So, here is your life according to the Bible. As far as the truth of the Bible, it hasn't been taught in churches. So, you got to come to the streets. Go brothers like yourself that know the history. Come back to the law of the so, If you read these certain scriptures, this is Those are prophecies. Those are prophecy that was given to Moses. Because the Israelites were just obeying God. We're taking it to slavery. And obviously, 2,000 years later, that's what happened. And that's why we're here. So that's how you know what the Israelites of the Bible. So, so all this church stuff, you got to come out of the churches and learn the truth. So if you have the internet, I suggest you uh, go on that. I just moved in my apartment and probably stay, man. Uh huh. Yeah, go on the internet. There's some uh, brothers out here, but we're different from them, but it's a, it's a similar message. So if you got, get, I got the internet, go on YouTube, type in uh, the main people, Safari, S-I-C-A-R-I-I, and watch those videos, brother, and wake up spiritually and mentally. I mean, you got to come out in the streets like us because you're an elder. We don't want you out here, but as far as learning, you can definitely learn through the information we give on the videos. And like I said, this come, you know, come to this thing first. That's, that's the main thing, brother. We want to unify with our people first. So, we, we, we don't need to you know, be unifying with other nations. So they don't care about us. I got a water in my car, hold on. Matter of fact, you, you can have this water, brother. Okay, you that bag in there. Uh, no, no more water in that bag there.
don't believe in the Bible. Well, this is a religious. I don't want to say it's a religious sect. You are a guy. So this one right here is nothing in this one. This guy? Not in that ground. It's right there, my bad. Oh, there you go. Alright, let's So, a lot of people don't believe in the Bible. You know, for certain reasons, like you said, you can read about white man, all this other madness. But your history is in the Bible. So, what do you know about the history of Puerto Rico? Okay, so you studying the Taino history and all that stuff? All I mean, you don't got to go to college for that, but, yeah, you know, no, it's, it's a more structured yeah, thing as far as what you want to build. Well, if you wanted to get a degree yeah, in it, yeah, you know what yeah, so, so, you know, what, what were the Tainos doing before they came to the island? Or were they always on the island? Nah, they came from Venezuela, dude. They were part of the Arawak Nation that came off boats to the island. The, 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 the original ones that came to uh, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Jamaica. Where did they come from though? They all came from Venezuela? That's a native that's term. Well, that's the natives. They all came well, from, from that area. That area. Exactly. He, he's, he knows. They all came America from... America was made by Italians. I, don't call it, I call it niggas the Laka, bro. What does that mean? That's what the natives used to call this name. What is it called? Niggas the Laka. What does that mean? It means man of the condor. Man of the condor? Like a bird? Yeah. There's like condor and there's eagle nation. North America is the Eagle Nation and Condor Nation itself. Get Obadiah uh, 1 and 3. All right. Let me see. Go to Obadiah. That's in the Bible, brother. So you, you know you do know some history. That's powerful. So like I said, when you get when you get deep into the Bible, not this church ideology, because you know the church ideology was taught by the white men when we came over in slavery. So that's why I asked you, where were the Taino and the Arawak, all, all, all the Indian tribes, the Incas, the Aztecs, the Mayans, where did they come from before they got here? Because they weren't people. So all of you we crossed the Bering Strait, but I don't believe that shit. Exactly, that's nonsense. Y'all came from Israel. Y'all y'all came from Israel. Y'all lost y'all. Y'all did it. Over the conquering and the conquistors coming over here. Enslaving y'all, laying y'all bad down to this guy. Yeah, Everybody knows this guy. This is fault. Yeah, I feel like that's what they're doing. Oh, yeah. If you don't, you can blind. Oh, no, that's a fact. Yeah. This is a fact. That's this is a fact. Oh, this is a fact. He's a devil right there. That's the ancestor that did it. Him and his people. Yeah, but as far as you know, that's history. Yeah, that's history. 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 This. It's gonna say it right here in the scripture. Obadiah. So you one. gotta have the spiritual sense to, to know what it's talking about. Go ahead. Obadiah. One. One. Vision of Obadiah. Three. 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 Let's lock out. Verse three. The pride of thine heart has. It's talking about the Caucasian race. Go ahead. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of rocks. Where did white people come from? See all these skyscrapers? We didn't do this shit. They have taken high because when they was in a mountain, they was in a high mountain. So they, they want to feel like that in this area through the spear. So that's why they build all these high skyscrapers, and it has to do with their you know, their rulership. Go ahead. That says in his heart, "Who shall bring me down to the ground?" Who's going to destroy the white man? Go ahead. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. What, what did you just say it was? What, what, what was the land that you called it? The north of the middle. Land of Condor? What is that? Condor Nation. Oh, thou exalt thyself as the eagle. What's on the dollar bill? What's on the quarter? Exactly. Why do they do that? I have no idea. Because the eagle people took that shit from the Indians, though. I wouldn't say that, they but... Because the eagle only exists in America. No. So the Wapi became Europe, That's true. They ain't got no eagles Bro, there. The, the spin, that's an American far, bird. I, I know what you mean. That's an American bird. But that's because they conquered the they conquered That's what I'm saying. Americas. They took that from us. The eagle. But this is the that's thing. That's from us. It's symbols, man. That's true. He, he, like I said, he's right. But y'all don't. Nobody knows that history. Like, like you said, I, I didn't even know that history as far as them using the eagle ass. Research. I know. Speak at the locker, bro. I gotta write that down. Speak at the locker, bro. We got the locker. Who used to call it that? Hold on, brother. Let me deal with him real quick. All of them. All of them. In their own language, though. There's a bunch of languages. Yeah, that's true. Like you said, all the different tribes. You know, Nawa. You know about Nawa, right? Nawa was pretty much a language family from the Aztecs, Toltecs, Mayas. Well, all the Indians spoke a dialect of Nawa, though. 
All the they well, just, they spoke Hebrew too. They spoke Hebrew. Exactly, they spoke broken Hebrew. Yeah, I, mean, so, I don't know Hebrew, so I can't say. It's I know, but that's what y'all originally spoke when y'all came over here before y'all was conquered. Now you speak Spanish. Where's Spanish come from? Spain. From Spain, yeah. And then, you know, Spain's flag has an eagle but on you know where, it. You know English where, flag you know, has an you know eagle on it. You know where a lot of Spanish words came from, though, before what? that? The Arab, I mean, there's a the lot Moors. of Arabic words in there. Spain was ruled by the Moors for the Moors 800 were, years. Moors were the black people, uh, too. Camisa, Negroes. Camisa, Camisa, Patalones. That's off of Arabic, bro. Yeah. That's actually Arabic. Uh, no, that's Hebrew. That's Hebrew. That's Arabic. The Arabic comes from Everything Hebrew. Everything comes from Hebrew. Because, like, when you study history, like the nation of Israel, we were scattered to the four corners of the earth. So we're gonna get this in a second, but we're gonna show how y'all came over to the Americas. And these are the first languages. Hebrew wasn't the first language though. Hebrew was the first language. What's the first language over there? Sumerian. Sumerian was not the first language. Yes, no, you're saying that just that. No, no, it's not the first written language that's found. The oldest written language is found. Cuneiform, right? Correct? Exactly. So how would you know that Hebrew was the first language if that was the first language? Because there was oral traditions back in the day. There was oral traditions. The first people that wrote yeah, things down, like, there's, there's, there's artifacts in America. There's Hebrew you, artifacts in America that are older, that are older than artifacts in, 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 in Middle East. I feel you, but you know, shit gets twisted all the, along the way. Every time it sounds oral, shit gets twisted. Like if I tell somebody something right now today, I know what you mean. Two years later, you think yeah. I know what you mean. The same thing I told but, but here's the thing. It's the same, man. It's probably worse. Yeah, I believe we were smarter back then. Oh, people were definitely smarter back then, bro. Right? It's in Genesis. How about them? Are they part of the tribe? Whatever. Oops, you don't know. Was, those people be beating our women and selling us fake hair, all that shit. They don't even say that. They say it five places. You, you definitely know some Genesis, bro. Honestly, oh, shit, bro. honestly, as far as the Tainos and all that, like you said, they came from Israel. And what, what were you holding? I, you know what? I do believe that. I do believe that, uh, that that people came over from Africa to the America before but the white. You guys, that's a matter of fact, fact, let me get this book. But, I'm, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. Power. Power. What's your name, brother? What's your name, brother? What's your name? They went Alex? Over there. They went over there. Oh, yeah. We're going to read this out of the books they took out of the Bible. There's a reason for it. And if you, um, you know, the Portuguese are actually the ones that actually ran the slave trade. You know that, right? Portuguese, French, Spain, and. No, no, no. Portuguese don't. But how they started using gunpowder. Asians and Jews have been fireworks. No, the Ottoman Turks did. The, the, the Asians had it. The Ottoman Turks. The Ottoman the Turks had it. The Asians had it. They didn't use it for. They didn't use but it. Alex, we gon' we gonna read this this the out of the books they took out of the Bible, which is actually this book called the Apocrypha. Have you heard Have you heard of the Apocrypha? This is the, the books they took out of the Bible. No, you can't borrow this. You, you can buy this one. Like, Ten dollars, fifteen dollars okay. online, but these are the books they took out of the Bible because take a picture of that, bro. when, yeah. But we gonna read some, read that. All right. Second this is, Israel. No, no, this is a uh, how you know the the people that are you know, called the Indians and Hispanics today uh -huh. came over to the Americas because this was an unknown land. You see, I'm part Native American myself. What's your father? Uh, 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 Yamasee Indian from South Carolina. Oh, so you said it's based on the father, right? Exactly. So, so how does it work if, if, if one of your ancestors was, nah, you was raped by a man, by a, South, by a white man? South 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 so, okay, so you know how the masters used to rape a lot of people back in the day. Spanish or whatever? No, no, no. Even here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The masters used to rape the slave girls, right? They used to pregnate them. So how would it work if their father is white? They would be white. So they say? They would be white. If your father's white, you're Caucasian. 
no matter but how dark you're skinned. Line, you go down. Exactly. So if she had a daughter, I mean that's different. I'm for some brothers, man. You get that Let water, brother? Yeah, yeah. God bless, man. Yeah, tell them yeah I'm with y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely check that information out, brother. Don't I'm lose that fire. But yeah, as far as um, just to answer your question, all all race don't end in pregnancy. So as far as as far as Negroes, you know, they rape just uh, Indians too. But all but. What you don't know, they came up with a concoction. It was like a, a Plan B drink back in the day. They made it up. So when they got raped, they made sure they didn't have that, that, that white baby. So they would drink a potion and nah, kill the fetus. There was a lot. Of, you black skin, bro. What's that mean? You got somebody. The black phenotype. Can, he, he's technically a Negro. He has woolly hair just like me, just like you. He's like in both of us. But <laughs> I'm dark exactly. As fuck. You guys we're, we're the same people, though. That's what no, I mean. No, no, I know. But you know, an African can have an albino baby. That's How can true. that happen? Because we have the same the genotype that we have. We're we can, not white. We can make no albinos are, are all white, like the paper. White people aren't even white. Look at her, she's pink. She's pink. She's not white. She's not that pink paper. Albinos are that white. That's how they look. That's a, that's a complete depletion of melanin. As far as them, they have recessive genes. White people have recessive genes. Blue eyes, green eyes, that's a recessive genes in the sense of the Bible. We don't get that in a second, but just to go back to the point how y'all got over to the Americas, this is why they took out the Bible. And this is how Christopher Columbus knew to come over here by reading this book, which is all called Second Ezra, which is Ezra the prophet in, in uh, the regular Bible. If you if you read a, uh, or watch a movie called 1492, Christopher Columbus, obviously 1492, there's a movie. He said, there's, he's having a, a conversation with, I forgot his name, but he's like, where are you gonna go? Like, cause there was an unknown world at the point, remember? He said, the unknown world is like uh, the four part of That's why they hide the information from it. So you as a historical major, that's it's good that you know a lot of different things, especially about your own history, that's powerful. But there's some truth to everything about this Bible too, so read that. And also, but let me touch on this real quick too. Yeah, but look, that's why on. this book this is, is very important. This is where my contradiction comes in with the Bible though, bro. This is where my contradiction comes in with the Bible. Uh -huh. The Bible, the actual Bible was put together like four or 500 years after, after Jesus was dead, right? The Torah is the original book. Well, so are you guys going off the Bible or the Torah? The Torah is part of the Bible. No, but the Torah is different than the Bible. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It was written before Christ lived, technically, yes. But the but Bible what, talks the about Jesus being the Son of God. The Torah True. don't say shit about Jesus. Bro, let's... let's the Torah let's, don't say we, nothing about we, we Jesus. Go, no, 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 no. Let, let's go to that. Let's cut that first. Go to uh, Jeremiah 23 and 5. We're going to prove Jesus in the Old Testament, how they prophesied about the, the, it. The, go to uh, Isaiah 53. The reason they killed Jesus because they thought he was crazy. He was a nut. Go to Isaiah. Let, let, oh, let's let's we, we touch on there. Too. Isaiah 53. Start from the top. We're going to read about Christ being prophesied in the Old Testament. Read. Okay. From the top. Isaiah 53. Who has believed our report? To uh, whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? The arm of the Lord. Who's the arm of the Lord? Wait, hold on. Is this from the Bible? Or this, the is from, this is the Torah and Tanakh. Before Jesus lived. Isaiah the prophet. This is from the Torah or the Bible? True. Isaiah, Isaiah is a prophet after the Torah. So during, you know, David, Solomon. Well, I'm talking about from the Torah, Torah, bro. Straight from the Torah. Let's read uh, number 24. the Torah is different than the Number 17, 24. Let's read about this. Let's see if, who this is talking about. Numbers 17, 24. And this prophecy is about Christ in the Old Testament too, and the Torah. Man, so what did Genesis 49 actually? Genesis 49. 49 and uh, 8 or 9. Genesis? Gen Genesis is the first book of the Bible, bro. Genesis oh, yeah, is the yeah, Torah. Yeah. Let's read out the Torah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Christ is written in the Torah too. I was too. thinking about... Uh, read read Genesis 49. Genesis 49. Yeah, read 8. Oh, read 8, 9, and 10. Go ahead. Well, Let's see who this is talking about. 49, verse 8. Judah, thou art ye whom thy brethren shall pray. That's how we know the Negroes are the tribe of Judah in America. They're the most athletic. They, they, LeBron James is Judah. Like all these athletes, mega superstars, NFL stars, they bring praise all throughout the earth because they're from the tribe of Judah. But that, that can be proven as well through history. Go ahead. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. The neck of thy enemies, which is America. We're the neck of our enemies here. We get shot down every day. Judge comes in our community. All the justice system is against us. Go ahead. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Exactly. That's talking about the other tribes are going to bow down before Judah because Christ is from the tribe of Judah. If you don't believe in the New Testament, but we're going to read this and see how Christ is in the in well, the first book they, of the Bible. Well, you don't think they're talking about the tribes from back then, not the tribes right now. 
We're reading out of the Bible, brother. Yeah, but that was written like 3,000, 4,000 years ago. Exactly. So how are they writing about us right now? Because it's, 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 it's inspired by God. If you believe in the Torah, you, do you believe in the Torah? I'm gonna because you mentioned it. I know about it. I don't tell you that shit. You know why? Because you can't be Jews, bro. Bro, the Jews that you see in the Israel, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Jews that you see on TV, those white people, are imposters. Look, let me, let me. This is from Gabal Abdel Yassir, second president of the United Arab Republic, formerly president of the Republic of Egypt. This is in 1952. Let's see what he said. The Europeans claiming to be Jews are nothing more than Hebrew speaking Gentiles. What are Gentiles in the Bible? Those are the heathen. Those are people that aren't Israelites. Not even non believers, but people that aren't aren't Jews and aren't Israelites. Let's see. The late president of Egypt, the male, who is here, they on television. Because the no, original I Jews know, are black, brother. I know that. I know that. You didn't know that. No, I didn't. She said, it was she said the Bible what? was written by the Jews. Okay, so let so me ask you Jews this. Jews are Negroes, brother. Let me ask you this. You're an Israelite. You're not a Jew, but you're an Israelite. Are Ethiopians Nigerians? Those are two different countries. But yes, those, those, right? those would be considered... Two tribes, right? Those would be considered... They don't look the same, but they're all from Africa, right? We're from Africa. Egyptians aren't Jews, Ethiopians aren't Jews, Nigerians, some Nigerians aren't Jews, but Actually, they're, they're- Ethiopians and Regions are closer to the, to the actual Israelites, bro. They're not Israelites, though. If you're reading the Bible, they come from the seed of Cush, which is the seed of Ham. Because, like I said, if you don't believe in the Bible, like I said, all this is pretty much in one area or the other, but I'm gonna edify you, because you know a little bit, and I know something's gonna stick to you before you leave here. So, the Ethiopians will be considered the original Africans, which African is, it's not really a, a, a modern pure, term anyway. They're the blooded Africans. I wouldn't say that. They're, they're still, they're, 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 they're heathens according to the Bible. It, it's genetic. We don't believe in genetics for the most part. Like I said. So you don't believe in science? None of that shit? Science, there's certain sciences I do believe in. But as far as DNA and all that, that's so nonsense. So you believe in science for bias point of view then? It's only What's what you bias? want to believe? No, it depends on what you're talking That's about. That's what I'm saying. Like you only, DNA? You only when you look at something. Okay, you, you, wait a minute. You, wait a minute. Let me let me let me say this real quick. Something and you look at something. Do you look at it from your point of view, from what you want to see out of it, or do you I'm, see the whole perspective? I, I, I take everything in perspective. Really. I don't just go, like I said. I, I, I go into everything, and oh, no, that's not it. Oh shoot! Hold on. This is the one. Oh, so, so basically, I know we feel not. Let me, I'm not saying science is not. I'm not trying to you guys. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to get some understanding because we're, we're, we're having a dialogue. To, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say that when you say they're pure as blood, like what does that mean? Like what, that just makes sense. That they never been, they never mixed with no European, nothing like that. Well, well the most I, I African, can, I can, African as far as that, they, they they fought the Europeans and they conquered, they, they defeated them technically back in the day. Yeah, they when they tried to conquer, they're the only country in Africa that never got conquered by yeah. a European country. I, I can I can agree to that to a sense. I mean, they, they don't run Africa though, so the white men run Africa. Well, yeah, they got they bases all throughout them. Africa. So yeah. what does that mean? They don't have their own you know military. No, Ethiopians run Ethiopia though. That's why Bob Marley was like. I mean, that's, that's fine. My king. Bob, so Bob that's Marley's a white man. You know what I'm saying? Bob, yeah, Bob Marley's true. a white that's man. True. His father's white, that's so he's, he's he's a cracker. No matter what, he, the music wise, it's, it's whatever. But as far as him, as far as lineage, he's a white man. He's a, he's he's part of the oppressor. But he spoke some good things. That's fine. But as far as Ethiopia, I mean, having a, a pure bloodline doesn't really mean much, honestly. Because, like I said, when you when you speak about like the slave slave thing happening, people getting raped and all that. People got raped in all throughout the world like before that happened. So it's, it's all a spiritual aspect at this point. Like I said, when you when you're stopping up here right now, this is a spiritual divine inspiration by God bring you up here. And you said you had to leave about 15 minutes ago yeah, and you're still here. You, bro. But I, 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 pre I appreciate you staying, but we don't we don't bring out the original scriptures, bring out that second Yeah, know, as soon as the bus comes right now. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. It's, um, that flyer we gave you real quick? And, uh, and if you have questions, you're from San Francisco, right? Yeah. Right. So 
Yeah. Um, so I'm from Sacramento. I'm, I'm going to be coming out here every weekend. So we're going to make this spot kind of like a spot we just, you know, bring out information on. Yeah. Because like I so said, what we do ain't, ain't, ain't going on everywhere. And like I said, we're not having a normal conversation that people have just in the hood and all this other stuff. So if you have questions, just call this brother. And like I said, we can build, brother. We can definitely build. There's videos on there that prove Puerto Ricans or Israelites. I'm gonna look into that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, I mean, there's some shit that you got saying that's some bad. You know what I'm saying? But there's some other shit that's kind of. Who's gonna rise up the black man to take his rightful throne back and fight this oppression that we going on? Not physically, because we know the white man got all the military might. But this is a spiritual battle. Like you said, you gotta wake up in these last days and come back to the to our truth of our heritage. So that's why I said I appreciate you coming out. Keep reading. Go ahead. This, this is this is a prophecy about Christ. Go ahead. The scepter, uh, verse ten. The uh -huh. scepter shall not depart from Judah. The scepter, which is the rulership. That's why I said Judah, who our brother shall praise. Go ahead. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet uh -huh. until Shiloh come. Until Shiloh come. You go into the uh, uh, Hebrew I don't know word. Know who that is, but I know, but it's it's a it's a uh, it's, it's, it's a Christo it's a Christophany. Shiloh, if you go into the Hebrew, because this is written in Hebrew, right? See, before you guys talk, before you guys, I gotta understand this shit before you guys can like talk to me like that, because I don't even know what these words are. Shiloh. It's like if I'm speaking to someone in a foreign language, they can't understand me. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta. That's why I'm explaining it as I go. Okay. That's that's what I'm doing it for. So Shiloh, when you go into the Hebrew, it means tranquility, which is like peace. So read that from the top. The scepter shall not depart from the Judah. The rulership shall not depart from Judah. Go ahead. Nor lawgiver from between his feet. So when you read about the New Testament, Christ is going to be the king of the Jews. He's going to be the lawgiver. And he's going to be have the rulership over the earth eventually. If, like I said, you don't believe it, but it's going to happen. Go ahead. Until Shiloh comes. Until come. Shiloh comes. So there's not going to be peace on the earth until Christ comes back. All these wars and all this other stuff. Yeah. Uh, I got cut out, bro. Hey, good looks, bro. Yeah, definitely. Good good man. Yeah. Say, bro. Study that information and, and hit him up, brother. Sure. There's plenty of videos what we're talking about that proves what we're talking about. Yeah, definitely, brother. Nice meeting you. But let's uh, continue with that. Just to finish the point. And then we're going to go back and take the next one just to finish that. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, uh -huh. nor lawgiver from between his feet. So Shiloh comes. Exactly. So Shiloh comes. Christophany about Christ. Because he's going to come back and, you know, conquer the nation. He's going to put everybody in captivity as far as the other nations are heathen. And then he's going to put us in our rightful state, which is above the heaven. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Micah 4 and 1. But in the last days it shall come to pass uh -huh. that the mountain of, of the house of the Most High shall be established. Yep. In the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, uh -huh. and the people shall flow unto it. Exactly. That's talking about the nation of Israel being established, and all these other nations flowing unto it. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go. Up to the up to the mountain of the most high. Exactly. Do what? And to the house of the most high right. of, ja of the power of Jacob. Who? Of Jacob. Jacob, the twelve tribes of Israel. God is the power of Israel only, period. Go ahead. And he will teach us his ways. Exactly. And, and we will walk in his paths. In his paths, which is the law, statute, and commandments. Go ahead. For the law shall go forth from Zion. Exactly. Read that again. For the law shall go forth from Zion. The law is going to go forth from Zion and tame all these nations and teach them how to live. Because they're living like heathens, eating pork, eating shrimp, eating crab, eating lobster, all this other madness that we're not supposed to eat, which is against, against the laws of God. Is that it? And the word of the and the word of the most high from Jerusalem. Exactly. What is uh Joel 2 and 27? So that brother, he has some knowledge, like I said. He don't believe in the Bible, but spiritually, he actually does. Because he knows about certain things. He knows about the Torah. He said he don't believe it because the Jews wrote it. But he's thinking of the white Jews over there, which is crazy. That doesn't even make sense. But I, I, I applaud him for coming up here, you know, and actually dialoguing with us. But he's he going to take advantage of that flyer we gave him through the Spirit. Hopefully that seed was planted and he did more research on his people. Because he, he is a, a Taino Indian, a Puerto Rican, a tribe of Joel 2 and 27.
7. Uh -huh. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I'm in the midst of Israel. This is the Most High speaking to Joel. Go ahead. And that I am the Most High, your power. Go ahead. And none else. Uh -huh. And none else. And none else. The Most High, the God of Israel, is the God of Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the 12 tribes, and none else. Keep going. And my people shall never be ashamed. We're not going to be ashamed right now, because we are the truth. We know what's going to happen. We know what the Most High got planned for all these other nations. And the wicked ass America is going to be destroyed. So, um, what was I going to get before? Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to get. I know it was in Isaiah 53, but he's already gone. We got to go to that. Go to, yeah, go to 2nd Isaiah 13. So this ratification, we're going to go into second Ezra's, like I was explaining to the brother Alex, that his people came from Africa and uh, they came over to America. So he already said the Bear Strait was nonsense, which he knows that for a fact. That's, that's the truth. The Bear Strait theory is nonsense. So we're going to read this and prove that the Hispanic natives came over here, who are the 10 tribes, hopefully, and they came over here to the Americas. And that's how Christopher Columbus came over here and knew about how to find them in the Second Ezra, thirteen and forty. Uh -huh. Those are the ten tribes. The ten tribes, which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. Exactly. Go ahead. In the time of Hosea, the king, who Solomon answered, the king of Assyria led away captive. Go ahead. And he carried them all over the waters, uh -huh. and so they came into another land. Where they go? To another land. Go ahead. But they took this counsel among themselves mm -hmm. that they would lead the multitude of the heathen. They're going to lead the Assyrians over there in the Middle East and go somewhere else. Where are they going to go? And go forth into a further country uh -huh. where never no mankind dwelt. Exactly. They're going to go to a further country where never mankind dwelt. This is the Americas, the fourth part of Earth, as it says in Revelation. So that's how we know the indigenous people of this North, Central, and South America, all the islands where the Israelites of the Earth. I don't have the book on me, but. There's a book called, um, I believe it's called, uh, know, what's the book called? Basically where it talks about how uh, uh, the interpreters, or the uh, Spanish interpreters came over here, and basically they brought Hebrew interpreters and they had a conversation talking about, hey, our brother Joseph's on an island nearby. I gotta get that book for next time, but that's just a, 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 a point that's in history that proves that the nation of Israel was over here. And like I said, let me bring this out actually. This is a book, Discovery of Ancient America. As you can see right there, the Lost Luna Stone is right there. So let's read out of this book real quick. Now let's see what it says. This is history. This northern kingdom proof at this point. So let's go here. Uh, they didn't just find the Los Lunas stone, they found four artifacts in uh, New Mexico. And this is what they said about it. And I say, you can't refute it because it's already there. You can't move it. It's on the mountainside, carved into the mountain. It says here, um, as it is readily seen, the letter style is identical to that of the inscription rock located further down the mountainside. We're just talking about the Los Lunas stone with the Ten Commandments and Paleo Hebrew. So let's see. Individuals of more recent times have seen fit to immortalize themselves upon the same boulder, printing their names inside and all around the ancient letters. This practice may well have served to preserve the inscription, acting as a sort of camouflage. So this is through the spirit. The most I had these other people coming by the uh, by the by the rock with the inscriptions on it, and make it seem like it was just you know random letters. But this is what it says after that. Interpreted as nothing more than thoughtless scratchings. The latter-day Kilroys have passed by and not defaced it. The phase, which is read from right to left, which I know is Hebrew, is read right to left, is rendered in modern Hebrew. It is transliterated and read left to right as Yahweh El Nau, which is translated to Yahweh is our mighty one. Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? Palo Hebrew, founded in the Americas in New Mexico. It says Yahweh, but we know the, the most the, the Hebrew don't have an E in it. So, where did this come from? This isn't even this isn't even the main one. This is the rock they're talking about. And then there's another one. Let's see. Let me, I'm just gonna show you the picture. I'm not gonna read the information because that, that's pretty much. Actually, let me read this last part. 
Uh, a fourth missing inscription is reported to have read the altar of Yahweh. This lapidary inscription was on a smaller stone now missing, so they couldn't have that out. Because you know, that's how you know that the native Indians and the Spanish were sacrificing and keeping the wall to an extent. But yeah, uh, who was he on? It was uh, 42. Second Ezra, 13, 42. That they might dare keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. Uh -huh. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. For the, for the Most High then showed signs for them. And held, the, and held still the flood uh -huh. that, till they were passed over. For, for though, no, for through that country, there was a great way to go, exactly. namely of a year and a half. How old is it? A year and a half. Go, uh, hold that real quick. Okay. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm gonna prove the point real quick. This is how you know they knew where they were going. Back to Solomon's time. Remember the first kings, ten. So this is how you know the, the northern northern kingdom knew how to get over here back in Solomon's time because even though they were going off uh, shortly after that, they remembered that there was another land that they could go to be separate. Go ahead. On oh, First Kings 10 and 22, for the king had a bit for Salakia. For the king had at his had at sea a navy of Darshish. A, a, a what? Darshish. No, no. Read the, the navy for us. Oh, at, at at sea a navy at Darshish. Yeah. Solomon had a navy. Solomon and uh, Aram, which is a Hamite, they had a you know a little joint joint venture. They would come over to the Americas and get fine goods over there back in ancient times. That's how you know Solomon had all that gold. So obviously there was gold and minerals and all this stuff in the Americas because nobody knew about it but them. With the navy of Hiram, uh -huh. once in three years once came. Once in how long? Once in three years. And how, what did it say in the second edges? Because it took a year and a half. So that means they came over here from uh, uh, Africa to North America. It took a year and a half. So it took three years. That means it took one trip there, one trip back. Keep going. Once in three years came the navy of Tarshish, uh -huh. bringing gold, silver, ivory, and apes, and peacocks. Keep going, one more. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and, and for wisdom. Exactly, go back to second hand. How do you feel about that song? I like the song. What's your nationality? 